Okay, this last week at Split Coast Stampers, they showed how to make this cute little expanding purse file. And I thought it would be really nice for my granddaughters who are coming to visit soon. So I thought, well, I can make this instead of using the scoreboard that they used. I'll just draw it and make the cut. I'll show you real quickly um, their steps or what it looks like. But they start with just a 12 by 12 piece of paper and score some lines in it manually. Fold it up so that the sides kind of accordion in. Make a backing with a spine and a front flap. Attach the back. Then they uh, have a handle which they attach to this top spine here. And glue that, glue that handle and then they decorate it. Put a little piece of adhesive Velcro on the front and then decorate it. So this is a quick, easy project in Make the Cut. And those who are, are new to Make the Cut might want to try this just to practice drawing lines. So the, what I did was I grabbed the pictures of their templates so I'd have a visual. And I wrote in the dimensions that I'm looking for. And when I'm drawing, I like to use a snap to make it easier to be precise. And I think I'll turn this to green mat just so that you can see what I'm doing. And we'll zoom in just a little bit. Now to get these pictures in, I, I just call these reference pictures. I went to the website and uh, right clicked on the image. Let's say right click, save image as, and I just saved it to my desktop. And I did the same with these pictures. Right click and saved it to my desktop. So when I got in to make the cut, I can, I'll do it again just so you can see that process. I click on the pixel trace and I think this is when you click on the, the file name you'll see the picture over in the preview. I want the uh, picture of the 12 by 12 card. So I will open that and hold the control key to drag around the image closer to what I want. Change the threshold to 255. I don't really need cutting lines. I just want to see the picture. And I'm going to click on Texturize Path, Apply Changes, and bring it in. Finish Tracing. I think it went over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So I can, and I did the same with, with the back piece and just spread it out here so I can see. I can see the reference picture a little bit easier with contrast mode, but as I draw, I think you can see it easier in the, in the, with the green mat showing. So the first thing I want to do is come over here to the figure eight in the upper left corner. And I'm going to grab the Bezier Draw. And other people like to click and drag. I like to just click, click, click. Move this down. These lines are four inches apart. And these are four inches apart. So I'm just going to draw those right along the grid lines here with snapping on it. I've got that set at a quarter of an inch. So I left click on the pen icon and go over four inches, left click and just right click. Then I go over four inches more, left click. And the nice thing about snapping is it stops right on the lines and draws nice and straight. Now I'll do the ones on the left side, left click. And I'm just moving the mouse, I'm not dragging. And then right click at the end left click, right click. It's a good thing I don't have to be a good artist to do this. Now the rest of these, it's just going to kind of zigzag. So we have a left click on the corner, left click, 
halfway through here, left click, left click. You keep left clicking till you're done. So when you come to the end, you right click. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Left click, left click, left click, left click, and right click. So I have the design. Now if I want to use my scoring tool to create this file, these all would be uh, done with my maybe my engraving tool. I'm going to left click this, hold the shift and left click this so the pictures go to their own layer. Then I have all of these as score lines. I'll just write score lines on there so I don't forget. Now, since I tend to forget, if I cut those, this card is going to cut through and this there'll be just a bunch of pieces. So I like to turn them into dash lines. To do that, I click on the color palette and choose line style and create new line style. I like to separate them a little bit so that they don't tear. And now I have dashed lines, and this piece is ready to go. I don't really need to cut anything on this because it's a full 12 by 12 card on my mat, so all I'm really going to do on that one is score. And I'll get rid of the empty layers there. For the next piece, I think what I'll do is I'll cut Control-X and I'll, I'll get a new page here. This would be the, the back and spine. Click on Add. For this one, I'm going to do Control-Shift-V. Oh, I don't want that one. I wanted this one. Cut. Control-Shift-V to paste it here. So this piece here is four inches tall by seven inches wide with an inch in the middle. So I'll start with a rectangle, click on the basic shapes at the top of the page, type in SQ to find the square, double click square, and I'll just send that to its own layer. And we'll resize this by making sure the lock icon is green. I'll make this seven inches wide and four inches tall. And press enter. And I'll just put it up in the corner so that when I draw this spine area that's one inch that I'll get that in the right place. So I'm going to click on the pen tool again, left click, they come in two inches and left click, right click, and then I'm going to do one more here, left click, right click. Now I can, again, I can use those as, I would have send these score lines to their own layer since I do either want to use the score tool on those or change them to dashes, create new line style and give a little more space. So now I have my spine and I only need one more piece. That's the big long handle. So maybe I'll borrow this rectangle, control shift and drag and just resize it to what I need it to be. This one I need to be 12 inches wide. And tab over to height needs to be three quarters of an inch wide, 0.75 and enter. So now I have the handle and the handle has a score line at one and a half inches. So I'll add a new layer and do the score line. Again, I just use the busy draw tool at one and a half inch, left click, right click, left click, right click and those are score lines so I'll 
change the line style. Again, if I were using my scoring tool in my machine, I would probably leave these solid. But I'll wait until I'm ready to make it to decide if I'm going to do dash lines or score lines. If I leave these solid lines, I will mutilate the design. Anyway, that's really all there is. I'll show it to you um, in contrast mode so you can see what it looks like. Here's the purse design with solid score lines. This is the flap back piece and the handle, and that's all there is to it. You assemble it according to the instructions. Whenever I get a design from uh, somebody else, I like to put where the instructions for assembly are found and where did I get the design to give them credit. So I put that in the notes. You can go to notes under view and click on notes. And I wrote the dimensions in here in case I forget. So